So here I am, video update, uh, I believe number three in my hydroponic greenhouse, some of my first attempts at hydroponics. Um, here's some yellow pear tomatoes that have ripened up. I just, just yesterday I harvested a little cluster of them here, there was about six of them in there. And then these ones will be the next in line for harvesting. And there's, there's a few other clusters here and there that are slowly catching up. I'm not sure if they're going to develop or not all the way. The lighting out here in Forks has started to change a lot, it's starting to become more overcast and rainy. Good old typical Forks weather. So there's a few still on here. Now remember this was just three tomato plants. I've had to, uh, I'll stand back here in the other bay and show you the, the tomato side. But I mean they, they were completely like out to here, all the way down and to here. And I've had to just prune, prune and bend them a whole bunch. I've done it about five or six times now. And I've actually filled my composter pretty much with just tomato cuttings off of these guys. And a few of them I've actually started over here, cloned them, you know, I didn't use any root clone, uh, root toner or a Clonex or anything. I've just cut them and stuck them in a jar of water that's about 70 degrees, put a little bit of nutrients in there, and they uh, root. They'll get roots started down here on the bottoms of the stems. And then uh, as soon as I get the first signs of rooting, I just stick them in my grow bed here, and they, uh, they do quite well. This guy here, he's been in here for about a week now. It's kind of rough on the roots, but you can see that, you know, he's got some, he's got some roots going on. Oh, camera's not going to focus. There we go. He's got a little bit of roots going on there, and there's actually quite, he's about two inches down too, so the roots on the bottom are still really long. At corn, it's not really going to do much. I think I'm mainly just leaving it in there for filtration, um, to filter out the water, kind of just eat whatever it can, really. It's, the more plants in here, the better, actually. I switched the lighting over. This guy, like I said, this one's been in there. Yellow pear tomato. He's been in there about a week now, and I saw the flowers. First signs of flowering when I put him in here, but I still have the lighting at 18 hours. I switched it over yesterday to 12 hours, so I'm just, like I said, I'm still experimenting, but hopefully he'll put off a tomato. This guy here, he's all, also got some buds going. Let's see if the buds will open up into flowers here in the next week or so under 12 hour lighting. And there's the real workers right there, the goldfish. The waste from these guys, I pump it up, you can see the pump there, I pump the waste up into the grow bed and, and I've got it hooked up to a bell siphon here so it floods to be about four inches deep. And then the siphon kicks in and drains it out, it's constantly flowing. It's not mechanical or anything, it's just gravity working. Um, this is going to be actually another grow, this will be a raft uh, technique hydroponic grow bed here. So what I'll do is I'll uh, drill some holes, I haven't decided what size the holes that I'm thinking a uh, half inch are going to be good enough. Um, but I'll space them out, you know, probably one every two or three inches. And then uh, I've got some lettuce and bok choy started here. Um, as soon as these guys sprout up, I'll, uh, I'll put them in there and see what, see what happens. I got a kind of a little feeling that these guys are going to probably nibble off the roots. They like to nibble off the roots on these plants that drop down. This grass, I know it was probably twice the size it was when I put it in here, but they've slowly been eating at it. I suppose it's good for their diet. There's some celery starts. They've I threw those guys. I what I just kind of sprinkled some seeds in here, some celery seeds in there, and then scooped some rocks over the top of them, and they shot up last week. So this is definitely working. The uh, aquaculture. I'm quite kind of impressed at how easy it really was to uh, establish. I put the fish in there and let it run through the grow bed for about a week before I started putting plants in there. Um, and like I said, I still I, I want to get myself a black uh, grow bed. I've, kind of look at some mixing tubs and things of that nature and I've kind of hemmed and hawed about building some out of framing it out of two by four maybe laying a liner latex liner in it of some sort but this seems to work for now at least until I decide to go bigger so anyways not much else has changed I probably here within the next like I said I don't know if I'm gonna let these tomatoes actually ripen out all the way I'm kind of wanting to move my um, 400 watt metal halide right now it's just kind of keeping temperature in here and uh, what I want to do is move it from the from this grow uh, stall over here and and hang it above this one and then start lettuce uh, start some new lettuce mixes going on in here that's originally what I built this for but I ended up putting tomatoes in there and there's a there's a bell pepper in there and a tomatillo but I kind of kind of gave up on those guys so I'd like to see my results with lettuce I think I could, I've heard people doing them in uh, 30 days and I think with the setup I have I could probably m match that so, anyways, 
Thanks for uh, checking out my channel. Subscribe to it and post comments, points, tips, um, anything that could help me improve, ideas, things of that nature. Thank you.